So Scratch is a community that focuses a lot on connecting and sharing different experiences in tech education. How is it that our kids can start inventing, start creating and not just consuming technology? And right now in Africa, we know that the unemployment levels are really high and we really need to create the jobs for ourselves. And for the first time ever, we've been able to translate the Scratch program in Kiswahili so that it is reached, reachable to 15 people. So we have 15 million people who will be able to access this in their native language in Kiswahili. It's just not a matter of translating word for word. It is called localization. And localization is more than just translation. Localization is looking for a word that really means and inspires the other people. I've spent the whole of my career in schools trying to think a little bit about how we can do things differently within existing systems. And quite often, technology is not going to make teaching easier, but it is going to make it different. You don't need to have a subject called coding or creative coding. You can use creative, creative uh, thinking in everywhere, in every subject. During the Ignition talk, I've shared on how we mentor kids into coding to help them solve or provide solutions to the existing problems in the society. The government is going to introduce coding at grade four, which, I mean, it's pretty awesome. Um, but I felt it can be introduced two years earlier because from grade one to grade four, that's when the creativity of kids is very high. Kenya is currently going through a, a big education reform where they're, they're doing just that. They're trying to reimagine learning in terms of what it could be um, to make sure it's fit for the 21st century. And the best way to get children to be creative is to make them create things, digital things, physical things, or combinations of the two. The curriculum reform in Kenya has not only restructured the education system, but also triggered a shift from knowledge to competencies. When automation takes away jobs, what does automation, uh, innovation do? It creates more jobs. Non-formal education has a really important role to play in influencing mainstream education and providing a creative space for young people to explore um, lots of peer-to-peer -peer learning and developing relationships. Uh, that will really impact and, and you, you'll see a benefit in, in the classrooms. You guys are constructing your world. I'm not here to explain something else. I'm here to help you build your world. So one of the challenges that we're trying to address this level up is connecting pools of capital to removing these problems and keeping the clubs free. It's the first time educators have gathered in this way to share stories about educating young people, lessons learned, uh, ways to do it and the tools to do it. Currently we have about 20 different nationalities present. From this conference, I will go in my country and share what they have gained. We have to hold our hands together and help those people that don't have access to ICT because I'm sure if all of us are working on ICT, we can do great things in this world. <laughs>